You have earth science, this heliophysics, understanding the sun and space weather. When the sun has an explosion, you kind of want to know about that. High energy streams of particles head towards earth and could take out our satellites upon which so much of our modern civilization depends. There's also planetary exploration. And then there's the search for life. All of that is in the science mission directorate. So you want to cut that to save money? Um, how much money is that? How much is the total NASA budget compared to your tax dollar? It is less than four-tenths of 1% of your tax dollar. If I cut off four-tenths of 1% from the width of this dollar, it doesn't even get into the paint. And you want to trim NASA to save federal expenditures? Really? Is that what's happening there? Now, I'm a scientist. Maybe I'm biased. Maybe. Sure. I'll give you that. However, let's go back in time. I have a document here, Science, the Endless Frontier, report to the president on a program for post-war scientific research by Van Ever Bush, director of the Office of Science Research and Development, a brand new agency of the government that saw what role science played in our health, our wealth, and our security.